Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It is Juventus up against Milan. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? The starting lineup for Juventus. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Philip Kostic plays with Juan Cuadrado in the wide positions. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Radek Krunic in central midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. Well, this might well be one to savour. Juventus get the ball rolling. Radek Krunic. Giroud. It's come off the keeper. Well, they can keep possession now. Now, well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Danilo Kostic has it Vlahovic not the pass he had in mind well you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch Stewart in particular what do you expect to see from him well Derek he's certainly going to be the key player today last time out he scored those two goals but it was his general play that was outstanding getting on the ball making things happen and he got his reward with the brace and I'm expecting to see exactly the same again today oh he's given us away Giroud Rade Krunic every pass hitting its target Oh, this is looking promising. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Calabria. Tonali with it. Giroud. Krunic. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it.
Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Di Maria. Kostic has it. Locatelli. It is advantage Juve. And he's beaten him here. Quadrado. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Vraovic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, Milan haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Gatti. Oh, he's given the ball away. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Sandro Tonali. Diaz. No, high quality defending. Well, inching towards half-time, and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Elects to go short. Throw in for Milan. Grunic. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. He's in control of the situation. But just like that, possession changes hands. And there goes the half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here in Turin. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, away they go again here. Milan with the advantage, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this game is over. That's going to be a Juve throw. Di Maria. Now Quadrado. Now well, he's given us away. Strength and control, a big part of his game. And Juventus will get the throw in. Really good challenge. Giroud. A Juve free kick here. The Juventus personnel change here.
Federico Gatti. Locatelli with it. Well, as you can see, Juventus have dominated possession, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. The save was a good one. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. How about the short corner? And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, behind for another corner. Going short. Di Maria. Now the conclusion. He's missed the opportunity. It's a substitution for Juventus. Rade Krunic. It's with Diaz. And back with Giroud. Well read to ease the pressure. And no margin for error. Giroud. Giroud! Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Corner kick played in. Well, decent save there. Well, increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. Played over. Not messing around with that clearance. Well, they couldn't keep it. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Will they profit from this situation? Giroud. Krunic. Looks as though they might be in just for a second or two. He has teammates around him. He's got to score! There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. The Bianconeri have given us away. He's in here. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And there's the delivery. Under pressure to get it away. Diaz. A really top-notch piece of defending. Breaking at pace. 
The referee has let the advantage accrue to Juventus. Kostic. And showing fine vision. And they produce the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Well, here we can see it again. It's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line. And that's a great finish from Chiesa. 1v1 against the keeper. He never looked like missing, did he? That's a top-class finish. Well, 2-1 it is here. And the right place to cut out the pass. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Offside, a tight one. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And that'll be a Milan ball. Being pressed and pressed high. Giroud. Oh, lovely ball. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too clearly the difference maker today.